Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about cleaning your lash extensions. This video is something I really wanted to make just because when I first got lash extensions a few years ago, nobody really told me about the caring part of my lash extensions. My lash tech had always told me, you know, that you need to keep them clean, keep brush them every day. She never really went into what to clean your lashes with and how and so I really wish that there was a video like this around when I first started getting my lashes done because I had no clue. I think my first lash tech told me I could use like baby shampoo and my fingers and then when I told my second lash tech that I went to what I cleaned it with she told me that wasn't a very good option because it does have oil in it so it tends to make your lashes uh, lash extensions fall off a little bit faster. So I have really learned a few things. I've had three lash techs now so I've really learned a lot from the different lash techs that I've had and my current lash tech that I have is my absolute favorite. I go religiously every two weeks even if I don't need a fill. And I just like having my lashes full and fluffy at all times so that's why I go religiously every two weeks. So a few tips just before we do get into the actual lash cleaning video. If you guys would like a full lash extension Q&A kind of video. Please leave your questions below or if you guys want to see that, I would love to do that. I love talking about lash extensions because it changed my life. I get ready so fast in the morning and I just love having waking up and having lashes on. And these are just tips that I wish I knew when I was getting lash extensions done. And I did want to preface that lash extensions are something that you do have to take care of and maintain. I mean, you're spending a decent amount of money on them, but the maintenance makes your lashes retention a little bit longer. Longer. You don't want to use any oil products. It goes for face creams, makeup remover, you don't ever want to put mascara on your lashes because you definitely don't want or even need top liner. That will break down your lashes and make them fall out faster. And the one thing that I actually used to do and my old lash tech told me is I used to wear cream liner on the bottom. I didn't think that was a problem because it wasn't actually on my lash line but throughout the day when you blink and everything, it does transfer onto your lash line. And so when I first started getting my lashes done with her, she did notice like a buildup and residue of the makeup. So I actually stopped wearing bottom liner altogether. And if I do want to have like some sort of liner, I usually use a powder. Not to say you need to completely get rid of eyeliner or anything like that. That isn't so harsh as using top liner, but definitely don't use it every day if you want your lashes to have a longer retention. Another thing to note for me especially, I have really oily skin. So just know that the oily your skin, the faster your lashes will uh, fall out and that's just something that you can't really help. And one tip that I have for my oily skinned friends is to keep blotting sheets with you. So what I'll do, especially if you are traveling to like humidity or just overall if you are oily, what I'll do is throughout the day, I'll take an oil blotting sheet and I'll just dab my eyelids because I do notice like throughout the day. I don't wear makeup on my eyelids most of the time. I'll get shiny on my lid and I'll just use an oil blotting sheet and take that right off and it usually helps with my retention as well. Naturally, you do lose two to five lashes a day, so do not get scared if you see your lashes start to fall off. Like you, every day you will see a couple fall off, so don't be scared of that. That's just natural, and that doesn't mean that your lash extensions are ruining your lashes. That's just all part of the process. And a really important tip is once you get your lashes done, you don't want to clean them for 48 hours. I think 24 hours is the bare minimum that you do want to wait because your lash glue is still drying so definitely don't wet them the first 24 hours but I typically wait 48 hours just to be sure that the glue is set and dry. I will wait two days after my appointment to clean my lashes for the first time. And lastly the more makeup that you wear specifically eyeshadow on your lids the faster your lashes will fall out. What I notice like I said I get my lashes done every two weeks but if I have a weekend where I'm wearing full glam a few times before I get my lash extensions, I will notice that my lashes are a lot thinner than usual when I don't wear eyeshadow. So just note that the more you wear eyeshadow and makeup, 
the faster your lashes are going to fall out. Okay, so I wanna talk about the products that you will need to wash your lashes. This is optional, but this has completely changed my life. What it is, is it's a facial cleansing brush, and this is actually from Daiso. So this only costs $1.50. My friend Caitlin found this, and it has been life-changing ever since. It's super soft, super gentle, but really dense. So this is what I use to really get in between the lashes and make sure that each individual lash is clean cleansed. Otherwise, you can use your fingers very gently, but I just feel like for myself, if I were to use my fingers, I would end up pulling out my lashes, so I, that's why I really do like this brush. What I used to use before this is I actually bought a brush from e.l.f. that was a blending brush that was flat and fluffy, so that also worked, but this works 100 times better and it's the same price if not cheaper than the elf brush next product you need will be a lash cleanser usually most lash techs will sell a lash cleanser that they love or a lash cleanser that they created I've only used two the first lash cleanser I used was from my lash techs company after I've used this one that I'm about to show you guys I really didn't like the one that they sold only because when I pumped it on my lashes and then I cleaned it the bubbles almost just like disappeared and it just turned into a liquid with this one this is the Bella 3d microfoam sensitive lash cleanser I ordered this online they have different sizes I just got the large size because I know that I'm gonna need it um, but what I really like about this is the foam that comes out is thick and it stays bubbly throughout the process of you cleaning your lashes instead of it turning to a liquid. So you really only need a tiny bit of this because it stays foamy while you clean your lashes. It doesn't have a strong scent and if you get it in your eyes, it doesn't burn or it doesn't sting. So that's also why I really like this product. So this by far, I will keep continue to always use because this stuff is amazing. I highly recommend this cleanser. And you will also need a brush spoolie afterwards just to brush your lashes out which your lash tech should give you after each appointment and lastly again this is optional you can really just get away with just having a cleanser but I really like this because it's super convenient it's a portable fan which I use to dry my lashes okay so on to the actual cleansing of the lashes I did want to note that I do usually wash my lashes at night I believe we'll wash it every night since I do wear face makeup pretty much almost every day most I'll go without washing my lashes is two days so I'll, if I skip one night I'll typically wash it the next night so in the video you'll see it's daytime when I'm washing it. I typically wash it at nighttime but that's because there's the best lighting in the morning in the bathroom so typically I will wash it at night so on to the cleansing part of the lashes okay so now we are in the bathroom and apologies if you hear a lot of echo but this portion will be really quick the first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush with water and just lightly wet my lashes so I'm just going to wet my lashes a little bit and then I'm going to take my lash cleanser with this specific one it's so creamy and so foamy I just use about a half of a pump like so and take my brush downward motion you don't want to go crazy all of your lashes you definitely want to be really really gentle so I'm using very light pressure going downwards really getting into the root of the lashes and almost kind of pushing it side by side so that way you're getting in between all of your lashes as well what I do is I take the cleanser and I also clean my lid the outer edge of my lid and underneath. You just wanna make sure that you get all of the oil, any makeup residue, and just really get into your lashes. I rinsed off my brush. I hold a towel underneath because this part gets really wet. First, I just take the water and rinse it. Not directly on my lashes, but I just let the water rinse the soap down. Lightly dab on top. Don't worry, you're going to dry them. They look crazy now, but 
you will dry them. And the rinsing part is really vital. Wanna make sure that you thoroughly rinse all of the soap off. You don't wanna leave any residue on there just because it could lead to your lashes uh, clumping together and not being as fluffy. Okay, so next what you will need is you can use a blow dryer. When I first started getting lash extensions, I used to use a blow dryer on cool setting. I just find this is way more convenient because you don't have to plug it in. I will link it down below. I got it off Amazon, but it is a lash, I don't know if it's a lash dryer, but it is a portable fan. Um, so this comes in handy when I'm traveling or just in general, it's a lot easier than using a blow dryer, but a blow dryer completely works. You wanna blow your lashes upwards because you do want your lashes to be lifted. And so what you're going to do is you're going to brush them up, but you'll also see me kind of go side to side, not crazy, but just gently, just to open up your lash fans. And you can see what a difference that makes just brushing them out and below drying them dry, which is why I always recommend if you are going to go in the water, like the pool, keep in mind that also can be reasons why your lashes fall out faster. But look at the difference. That's why I'll usually keep one of these spoolies with me in my bag at all times, just because if you are going to get your lashes wet and say you don't have a dryer, you can at least brush them out so they don't dry clumped together. And that is it for cleaning your lashes. But it's super important to take care of them so they last longer and they look super pretty and fluffy until your next appointment. Again, I'm not a lash tech, I'm not an esthetician. These are just the tips that I've learned over the years of getting my lashes done and just my personal experiences. So if you guys have any tips or any questions regarding lash extensions or just the process of cleaning them, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video every Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thick and creamy. This sounds weird, but if I do, if I am um, don't, the most because you want them to, I, blah, blah, blah.